Sorry about that. Uh, I, I pressed something on the back again. I'm having this uh, problem with when holding the camera, pressing, accidentally pressing buttons. It's happened a number of times now. So that's the one downfall I'm having with this uh, this uh, camera is the fact that when you pick the camera up or move it around, you, you're it's such a big camera that you uh, end up um, pressing the thing. But I've I took the opportunity because of that I accidentally switched off the video that I've started up and now I'm on uh, minus three so we'll see what sort of colour between minus three and minus four I think should get us the absolute uh, you know um, top notch colour sort of thing so we'll see how we go um. okay test comparison on the soil and we'll, like yeah, we'll just do some uh, colour comparison at minus three. If I can. Here's the standard. Uh, so against the brown soil, we should get the colour of the. That looks pretty good in the in the monitor anyway. But I've noticed that, uh, and we'll try a one of these new. And is it calling for focus? Can we get the focus? Or do I have to press? No, let's try focus. Now yeah, will it focus? No, it doesn't seem to be wanting to focus for some reason. It was focusing perfectly the other day. Hang on. Maybe I need to put it under my hands or anything. Hang on, put this all the way. So now, how about that? Now, what it for? Yes, now it's focusing. So that's what obviously, obviously what to do. Anyway, there's the new Anzac coin for you. And now we'll just go and quickly take a look at the grid site. I think what I really need to do, yeah, pan and pause, is um, take something like the CPN out to a site or something because everyone in the CPN circles will probably have a copy of the CPN and you can match the colours of your CPN you know, to what you see on the screen and, and you can tell whether I've actually got true true to life one to one colour sort of thing but as you can see the uh, the moss is starting to uh, green up now and that looks a bit dark in my monitor at the moment here but hopefully for my test runs I did yesterday that means when I get home on my screen it should look reasonable, you know oh what's that down there? some sort of ant, coloured ant an Irio Myrmex or something. <laughs> can you see that? Some coloured ant. Yeah, how close can we get? There's one there. So there you go, that's a good test from a new camera. But isn't it starting to green up and the astroloma is coming out already? The astroloma asteroid is coming out. See so if we can get true to life colour. And we're just going to go up here. And uh, you can see this will rapidly green up now. All that grey stuff will start to disappear and the moss will come through. And over here on the, the main grid site we'll start to get, uh, we have some heavy pounding rain in the next few weeks when we get our first cohort. Because we have, if we have uh, heavy pounding rain early on in the season, we can have an initial germination which will last through. <laughs> And then we'll have the usual heavy pounding rain, which is later on in the year. And that will start up the, the normal cohort. And we can have two cohorts of glids running through the season, sort of thing. And from the first one, you can get some uh, interesting looking plants. You almost go uh, through the cuteness stage that you get with plants over in uh, Western Australia. Because the season is so much more extended over there. If they start early over there, they, uh, and it doesn't get... Uh, bright enough and warm enough to actually initiate flowering the, the plants can actually start off and they go through a cuteness stage you hardly ever get to see here before they flower here uh, you know, it usually warms up and starts to dry out um, in, a, in a much faster that you, they, they get they, they just sort of miss out the cute stage and go straight to flowering and setting seeds or things so anyway I saw on here I saw some moss that um, Brie Ernst had at her place. I reckon it's very similar looking to this sort of 
moss here. So I reckon she and other people who've got similar moss over there could actually grow uh, glid seeds in that sort of moss sort of thing. And she reckons, oh, it dries out. And I say, well, yeah, this dries out too, but you know, they'll grow, flower, set seed, and then it'll dry out sort of thing, hopefully. So anyway, that's uh, on hopefully minus three. And now I'll just do another short clip and we'll walk down there and I'll do it on uh, minus four. How about that? Okay.